Hey guys, welcome to what I hope will be a useful tutorial on creating a Telegram bot in Python using the PyTelegram bot API wrapper. What we're going to be doing today in this video is creating a bot that turns Telegram usernames to Instagram links. For example, when someone in a chat mentions uh, at Justin Bieber, like I did here, the bot replies with a link to the Instagram account with the same name. So. You will need at least some basic knowledge of Python, but I'll make sure that I explain what I'm coding and leave some external resources on the code that I'll be covering in the description box. So check that. Along with the basic knowledge of Python, it really helps if you're familiar with the Telegram bot API, a link to which I will also leave in the description box. All right, for this video, you'll need to go to your Telegram account. First of all, let's uh, actually create the bot. In Telegram, all bots are managed by the bot father. So go ahead and search for him. Bot father. There you go. I have already created a bot and it's going to be called Adlink bot. The way you do it is you just slash create new bot, name your bot, etc. It's pretty easy. Let's go back to my bots. Once you create it, it's going to give you an API token. But we're going to come back to that later. Now head over to your command line. This also works in Mac OS and Linux if you're wondering. Just go ahead and pip install the module pi telegram bot API. Perfect. Now let's get to the fun part. Fire up an editor of your choice. For me it's going to be Adam. And let's create a new file called bot.py. Already created and saved it in my dev folder. All right. First things first, so we import the actual PyTelegram bot module, and we do that by import telebot, and we will be also needing the time module, so import that too. Now let's create a variable to store the token in. I'm gonna name it bot token. If we go back here, we can see that botfather has given us a token. We just copy it, paste it right over here. Now let's create an instance of the bot. Our instance is going to be named bot, it's just easier that way. And then we need to give it a token here, what we just created here. Now that we've got the instance, let's create a message handler that processes all of our updates. This is basically going to be a wrapper function that will take whatever is incoming into it and then process it in a way that we define. First, let's start off with just basic commands. In Telegram bot API, this is extremely easy. We just have to use a decorator. If you don't know what those are, I'm also going to leave a link down in the description to the docs and probably an explanatory video. But otherwise, type bot.messagehandler. And what do we want it to handle? Right now, we want it to handle the command start. As you can see, one of the parameters here is commands. And uh, it's a list that with the word start in it. Now the commands parameter can take into it a list of shrinks that we wanted for it to answer in a command. And you'll see how that works in just a minute. Directly below, let's make the bot send a greeting message. If the user types slash start, the bot is going to greet it. Def find send welcome. Message bot dot reply to welcome. Let's just keep it simple. If we head over to the PyTelegram bot API repository on GitHub, I'm going to explain to you why I'm using this. As you can see here, reply to is a convenience function for send message, and then uh, it basically replies to the message that you send it. So it takes uh, two parameters. It takes message as a parameter, and it takes text. We've got those here. So the message is going to be processing is this. The text is going to be welcome. Now let's test the bot with another command. Bot dot polling. It just starts the bot. It starts asking requests from the Telegram server for new updates. So what messages your bot is receiving? And I will head over to PowerShell to run this bot. All right, seems like I made a mistake here. Just tell the bot right there. And let's run the command once again. As you can see, there are no errors. It just keeps running. Now let's head over to Telegram. Search our bot at link. Go. Let's just start this bot. Boom. We send in the start command. It replies with welcome. There you go. Perfect. We can stop it from running. 
So there's a problem with this. The problem with this is that an hour or so, Telegram servers will throw an error and close the connection and they will stop your bot. I don't know why. But the solution I've come up with is to use an indefinitely looping try statement. If you don't know what those are, I'm also gonna leave a link in the description. Just leave this and do this while true try and then we're gonna bot dot polling and then when an exception occurs we just let it sleep for 15 seconds so it's gonna wait 15 seconds it's an infinite loop it's just gonna go back and start pulling the bot again um, and yeah that's why we needed the time module now that we're done with this let's make a similar command handler for the help command it's almost exactly the same but okay so instead of start it's gonna be help just type it to use this bot send it a username we're done with the easy stuff uh, let's create a handler that will actually power our program for that you have to know that there are different parameters for the message handler so the parameter we've been using is commands, right? But there are also other ones. Bot message handler. And one of them is functions. Here we can insert a function that filters the responses of the message handler. This will answer only if the command is help. This will answer only if the command is start. But this will answer whatever we filter. Let's think what the function has to be. Well, we want this handler to respond to every time there's a username and a text. So if we'd come up with something like this, it would be a lambda uh, message and then if the add text is in the message, if at is in message.text. So the reason it's message.text is because this thing is an object it's a, it's an object with updates let me let me just show you how it looks so under the hood this is actually what the telegram is doing to our bot so whenever i send it a message send a message hey let's update this boom this is an update it gives me who sent the message it gives me my id it gives me the language code and then private chat tells me the date, it tells me what I sent exactly. You see, here's the text field. We want to process the text field. If we would message dot date, what we would process is this, this string of numbers, right? But obviously there's no add sign in this string of numbers. We want the string with text, message dot text. Uh, one thing I would keep in mind with this is that the update object won't always have text. Uh, imagine we send it, uh, like we send it a sticker, <laughs> this sticker. The response of the bot will be something else. There's no text in here. There's chat, there's date, there's sticker name, but there's really no um, text. If that happens, it'll just throw an error and it'll stop working. To avoid this, we would just add message.text is not none and and at is in message text. If the text field of the object has something in it and the at sign is in the text, then our handler will function. And uh, let's define a function that will answer with an Instagram link to message. What we want to make sure this link accomplishes is it finds the word with the at sign in the text. So first let's split the message by spaces into different words and stored in a variable as a list okay so I'm just gonna do text it's gonna be a list message dot text once again message is an object we're looking for the text part of it so if we would put this alone this would just give us the text of the message and we want to split that text with spaces so if I typed to the bot hi my name is K it would split these so it'd be hi it'd be my it'd be name it'd be is and K and 
all of these would be stored in the text as a list. Now, what we need to do is find the exact word with the add sign in it. So we could paste it into the Instagram link. For that, let's create a function just outside this. That what this uh, function essentially does is it goes through every single text that's inside this list and finds the one with the add sign in it. So now let's use this. The add text exactly will it be the function and then we're gonna feed it with texts which is the list. Once we got ourselves the pure username, we got the pure username right here. We just want the bot to paste that username into an Instagram link. Bot, the bot will just reply to the message and it will reply with this text. It's gonna be https instagram.com forward slash and then here this is usually the format of Instagram usernames here you put a username and then you access that username's page but we will just format this in and if we do that if we actually run the bot so is was unnecessary there so and add in message text if that happens we just run the bot once again there were two problems one uh, there was just syntax error i put format here let's take it out and then number two you cannot have two long poles working at the same time so you cannot have this working and set your bot to long polling at the same time so let's just get rid of this and test out this bot gonna go python bot up high running smoothly send it a message some username oh no wait uh there's this ad sign because we told it to find every message with the ad sign it still kept this right let's just get rid of it perfect so this this will just basically get rid of the first sign in the string right now let's run our bot again running smoothly let's send it the same message perfect wow now it just sends us the pure username and the telegram generates a preview to his instagram account so we can click it we got the code uh, everything is working just fine but you know like do you have to constantly run your program to keep it alive what happens if you stop the program like you don't want your computer to be turned on at all times this hosting method i'm about to present you is not the best one definitely it's not it's not gonna handle a lot otherwise you can just set up a webhook uh, but that needs a server an ipv4 address an ssl certificate all of which costs money or time and what i'm going to share right now will be a free and easy way to deploy your bot but it'll be able to serve only a few users go ahead open up python anywhere.com log in I already have a username okay so here you have your dashboard let's go to my consoles I have no consoles let's start a bash console don't start a Python console okay because we will need to download a module just open a bash console and this by the way is free all of it okay now it has Python installed by default so we just pip install a user uh, I've already downloaded this. That's why the requirement is already satisfied. Yeah, let's just exit this one. Let's go back. And then f as for the file, so let's open another file. Let's just go home, carry off, and then create a new file, bots.py. Perfect. That's going to be our new file. It's blank. We just can, for lack of better method of doing it, I'm just going to copy all of this text, paste it right here save the file go back and uh, go back to my consoles is it working let's check i'm gonna send it the same message there you go now you just you can just exit out of this just go over to test it once again um, try Boom. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I will personally 
answer each and every one of them out of my best ability. Uh, and if you have any suggestions, you could also comment and I'll be sure to check. That's been it. Peace.